lot of variables in the in the crypto market that you can't control but what you can control is trying to balance your portfolio to be btc or eth rather than just holding that on its own for me personally when i'm looking at not even nfts but just crypto right now like our long-term growth portfolio like usd obviously something over the long term we want to beat but with short-term volatility i personally think trying to look at your eth and btc pairs and seeing how you're performing those two gives you a better indicator in my opinion on how you're performing against the market the crypto market there's a lot of variables in the in the crypto market that you can't control but what you can control is trying to balance your portfolio to beat btc or eth rather than just holding it on its own like i know some people if they are holding a, a large amount of eth or any ETH, you know, one of their hesitancies with the NFTs would be like, okay, I don't want to dip into my ETH to, to buy an NFT because of this exact question that we have here. Like what happens if ETH goes on a run? Are my NFTs going to reprice to reflect that? Like we don't know that. So I've seen a lot of people then who would just use their, you know, their bank balance or their cash using that to buy NFTs directly to get around that. So then you are able to, I suppose, still get the biggest upside or downside from ETH that you originally had. So you don't have to worry about something like that is in this question. If you are long-term bullish on ETH, like uh, my approach personally is just having like, yeah, a part a, a stash or virtual stash of ETH and then just kind of leaving that separate with my NFTs, trying to some of them just holding for the long term, like five, 10 years I will be. Um, and then others maybe trying to see ones that I do believe as an investor can you know, generate return short term. And then I'm looking personally to sell them back into ETH, obviously remembering to take a portion of that ETH back into AUD to, to pay taxes and stuff. Because Australia is one of those countries where we still do have to pay tax on those sorts of capital gains, even though they are all on ETH and NFTs.